But they quickly discover they can't hide from the Duke anymore. Satine has to finally sleep with him. In order for the deal to go down, she has to go down. But Christian sings a song to remind her of his love while looking over the city. Yeah, what is it, like the third time they've done that? Fourth, however, the Duke is given the hint that Satine and Christian have been seeing each other all along. This ending, silly. Why would the courtesan go over the penniless rides? Whoops. I mean, sitar player. Who was that? I don't know. Was she a main character? I don't know. A side character? I don't know. Does she even have a name? Of course she has a name. Do you think they'd let a character reveal such a huge plot device if she didn't have a name? Okay. Well, what is it? it? Yeah, what is uh, it? Hemdelin. <clears throat> Besides, we do see her before. Like there, and there, and there. Yeah, but does she ever say any lines? Uh, a few. Well, do any of them ever connect to why she wouldn't want Satine and Christian to get together? Uh, look at the dance sequences! Come off it, Flush! You know this is horribly put together! No, it wasn't! It makes about as much sense as the fact that Christian is sad because he didn't realize that being with a prostitute would mean she'd be sleeping with other people. God, I'm bad at this. Yeah. So Satine you finally suck. goes to give herself to the Duke. Christian waits in the shadows while the theater crew puts up one of the most conveniently coincidental dance numbers they could muster up. Oh no, this scene. What about it? Nothing. It, it sucks. When love is for the highest bidder, there can be no trust. Without trust, there is no love! You like this scene. I do not! It's... it's stupid! You don't have to put on that red light. Admit it, critic. Even you can't deny how earth-shatteringly awesome this is. Wow, they're playing the, the music, the pacing, the you're editing. singing the just police a goddamn rock sand. Scene. <laughs> no, no, it's stupid. This movie is stupid. Everything in it is stupid. No, critic. No, you have to acknowledge the coolness of the scene. With the sea, there is the love. With the love, there is the enjoyment. With the love, there is the love, 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 love. But its pretentiousness will drive you mad. Pretense. They just cover pop songs elaborately. It makes no sense. How they take it so damn seriously. So proud of the way. Songs apart, but a new coat of paint doesn't make it art. Pretense. Though in my heart I know it's asinine, I respect the production. So diverse, all the hours of rehearsal you can tell. Not to mention the vision to believe it would turn out well. Pretense. YouTube is where mashup videos belong. Pretense. Otherwise, just write your own damn song. So proud of the way they bought mm -hmm. classic I'm rock. Right. Ugh, these creative thieves can all suck on my There's no shame in liking something lame Rose by any other name is what it is And if you like it, that's okay Hey guys, what's Ooh. up? Kyle from Browse Held High. Hi. Huh? What you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing. Well, sure there is. You guys are together and singing. Um. Without me. It's nothing personal, Kyle. It's just, uh. Did you know that I did the first musical review on this site, right? Brows held high, the man who fell to earth. Um, Miss Ellis, you were in it, weren't you? Hey, I put you in my Le Mis thing, I didn't even know who the hell you were. And you didn't think to include me in your little crossover. Oops.
hell am I watching? I'll get over it. Oh, okay. That was easy. So the Duke finds out that she can't fully give herself to him because of Christian. Before he kicks the living Chateen out of her, one of the theater crew comes out and saves her. So naturally the Duke huh? would want to go after the guy who knocked him out, right? Actually, no, because he had even less lines than the exposition fairy. So the mm. Duke decides to keep his focus on Christian. She will come to me when the curtain falls. Or I'll have the boy killed. Killed. Wow, now we're going into cold-blooded murder? Well, obviously Zilla should get out of this totally insane business deal with this guy. Unless you do his ending and sleep with him tomorrow night, <sighs> the Duke will have Christian killed. Jesus, I never knew the theater world was so cutthroat. More than you'll ever know. Spamalot had to kill five families in order to get off the ground. When will Broadway learn? No. But she finds out some more bad news. <laughs> Apparently the doctor was nice enough to tell everybody but Satine that she's dying from consumption. Which, for some reason, means that she can't leave and run off with Christian. Well, obviously, then, she has to tell Christian what's going on so they can figure out a plan together to stop this madman from doing any more crazy things, and that's not remotely what happens, is it? No, the obvious thing to do is not to tell Christian about any of this, pretend she doesn't love him anymore, and totally break his heart, while spending the last of her days in a loveless relationship, knowing she's crushed the only man she cared about. Use your talent to save him. Hurt him to save him. That's the thing I ever heard! All yeah. she has to do is tell him the truth and figure out a plan together. How the hell is she saving his life if she's destroying him psychologically? What's worse, dying with the one you love or being emotionally assassinated by that same person? The show must go on. Mm -hmm. The show must go on. Really, Queen? dying that would probably turn him off i'm dying ew keep that lousy deed i'm not into necrophilia <laughs> it makes no sense well of course it doesn't make any sense love doesn't make any sense singing in a movie doesn't make any sense you me love life it doesn't make any sense <sighs> Floss, calm down no you're right nothing about this movie adds up none of it so i'm just gonna do what this movie taught me to do when nothing adds up which is sing a song with the word love in it all you need is love mama just killed a love put a gun against his love put my trigger now he's love i'm a little teapot short in love 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 feel better no so Santine's breakup God. with Christian is about as convincing so as loud. Edward's oh breakup with Bella, but thankfully Christian is about as smart as Bella, so he completely falls for it. Uh. Santine! Santine! I still Just remember in all those years of heavy drinking and suicidal tendencies that she saved your life. But Christian isn't done yet. Because he was so emotionally destroyed by the breakup, he goes back to Satine during the big show and tells her how he really feels. I've come to pay my bill. You made me believe that you loved me. Why shouldn't I pay you? Nostalgia chick, are you okay? You're fine. You're fine. Why can't I pay you like everyone else does? There's no point. Seriously, you don't look so good. I'm fine, damn it. Fine. This woman is yours now. I paid my whore. Damn. And you're nothing to me. Admit it, Chick. There's something you really hate about this scene, isn't there? It isn't just silly and stupid like the other scenes. There's something you really despise. No, there isn't. What is it about this movie that drives you absolutely insane? Christian is a complete twat! Christian's a twat? Yeah! Truly in love? It's such bullshit! All you need is love, you need love, 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 love. Who treated anyone that they truly loved this way? Why would you slut shame her in front of an entire audience of people? Who calls that love? That's not love, that's bitterness! 
Why? Well, because she lied to him, and he thought she was playing him the whole time. Yeah, I thought you'd be more pissed at her than him. Oh, sure, her actions are abjectly stupid, and she's the victim of bad, stupid writing. But him? He's just despicable. He's evil. For as many times as he sings about love, he treats her in the most insulting, dirty, mean-spirited way that you can treat a human being. And the dwarf's over here like, oh, she wouldn't do that, and yet him, the one that's in love with her, can't figure this out? Oh, yeah, love, I forgot about that. That's right. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm not even sorry, but we're still in love. So let's sing about it in front of everyone, and everything's okay. Oh, wait, you're dead. Aw. How would you feel if your loved one had some stupid misunderstanding that sprung from bad writing and then threw out all of their negative, horrible bile in one fell swoop? In front of everybody! Happy Oh, sorry. You know what? Maybe I overreacted. My bad. You wanna sing? So just as Christian gets done calling her every word for whore in the English language, <laughs> the dwarf suddenly drops down and, what a shock, quotes more songs. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved. Listen. he said he would never be manipulated by, he is now letting himself be manipulated by, it just so happens she's telling the truth. Singing fixes everything. <laughs> Fuck this movie. Yeah. No. But luckily, the henchman gets knocked out and the gun is flung into the audience. Uh-oh. the D to the place. I hope you enjoyed the Moulin Rouge, folks, because come noon tomorrow, it's gonna be turned into a parking lot for okay. carriage horses. <laughs> or he just walks away quietly. Yeah. Um, wasn't this the same guy who said, I just don't like other people touching my things! Yeah, I guess having a million people touch your things, take your money, and punch you in the face wouldn't get me too cheesed off either. Well, he's certainly taking it better than... Paid by whore! Let it go. <sighs> hey, let it go. But, just like they said earlier, Satine's consumption catches up with her and claims her life. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is kind of funny. <laughs> And thus, only Christian is fit enough to tell the tale by pinning all the pages on his wall, because that's what poets do, and turn the story into oh. a cohesive whole. Never realizing that he himself is a cohesive whole. So that's why Nostalgia Cray had those pages on his wall. Oh. This movie was stupid, bro. <laughs> There. After all that bullcrap, all that stupidity, are you seriously telling me that you two still like this movie? Yep. 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 Yeah. What do you mean? Yep. All you did was talk about how horrible it was. Well, it is horrible, critic. It's got awful. We still enjoy it. Part, part, some of it. Parts of aspects of it. Mm -hmm. But why? How? Oh no. In every heart there lies a place. All across the human race. Mm -hmm. That make our heart take wing. Sometimes they're embarrassing. Against their sway, we have no powers, and Moulin Rouge is one of ours. Guilty pleasures, everybody has a few. Guilty pleasures, you and me, and even you. Guilty pleasures, contradict your sense of taste. Guilty pleasures, they can only be embraced. The fireman who loves ballet. The model who loves anime. We all have a stupid song that always makes us sing along So reconcile inside your mind Our love for Moulin Rouge is blind Yes, it's dumb, yes, it's gay But we love it anyway Guilty pleasures, everybody has a few Guilty pleasures, you and me and even you Guilty pleasures, surely even you have some Guilty pleasures, love
them even though they're dumb. I think I get it. Like how I enjoy Rocky IV, though the writing's very poor. Ninja Turtles, Commando, X-Men 3. Oh, Jesus, no! Cool Runnings and Batman 2, just dread. Hey, I like that too! Even Jason goes to hell, paranoia. What the hell? Guilty pleasures, <laughs> they're the best at any time. Guilty pleasures, you have yours and I have mine. Guilty pleasures, Moulin Rouge is full of shit. Guilty pleasures, but we won't stop loving it. Well, thanks, guys. You've shown me that guilty pleasures really are something to enjoy. Though, this is a Moulin Rouge review. I can't end on a happy note. You're right. We need a sad ending for no reason other than we need a sad mm. ending. Huh. Oh! Just for a sad ending For film <laughs> I'm resenting A review must go Hey, 
Sam. The kind you learn at filmy schools. But here, good old Baz will have none of it. Well, I mean, you just said it right there, your line. I didn't even get a line. There you go. There's your line. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the, the movie just looked terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, like I said, I'm not a musical person. Uh, <sighs> But, uh, yeah, I get what he's saying, you know, about the guilty pleasures thing. Like, there's some movies that I like that most other people don't, like Last Action Hero or uh, Ron Howard's The Grinch, um, you know. <laughs> uh, but I guess, you know, like Moulin Rouge, of course it's got to have some fans, audience, people that, you know, stick around for it, like it, you know. But like, yeah, that makes like, it's like, yeah, like something like that whole like, oh, falling in love quickly, like, like just like that quickly, like, <laughs> it's, yeah, that's something that you would see in like Disney movies, man. Like, come on, man, this is supposed to be like, this is live action, man. It's, but of course, that doesn't mean like it's real. I mean, it's still a movie, still a, mu a musical. Um, yeah. <sighs> but anyway, like the video, I still like the video. I still like uh, I like the songs that the that Nostalgia Critic and all his friend his friends sing, especially the the last two. The last two were pretty cool. Uh, and as for that guy, like, what was it? Brown High School? What? I have never heard of that guy. Honestly, I've never heard of any of those people. Like, like who are they? I've never seen their videos. I've never heard of them. Uh, but anyway, the video was pretty cool. It's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, and I didn't know that they, they took songs from from artists and like put them in here like you know Whitney Houston Queen Kiss like what <laughs> I didn't know that uh, well but I don't know <laughs> I just I don't know man but <laughs> the, the whole part of him screaming like I don't like people touching things that are mine. It sounds like something a child would say, like a like having a temper tantrum. Like, oh, I don't like you touching my toys or some or my food. I don't know. Uh. Anyway, uh, let me know what you, let me know what you guys think. Moulin Rouge. Like, did do you like it? Like, did you hate it? Like. <laughs> Was this your first time watching it? You know, like with me too. Like, uh, this. Yeah, I, I really like don't like that. That whole like, you know, like changing the shot every like four or five seconds. Like, uh, like I'm I'm not like I don't have like that epilepsy, uh, but it does. I, I kind of have like a little bit of like motion sickness, just a little bit. Like, and. So, and seeing stuff like that, like, oh, flashing at the, you know, like, flashing every, like, five seconds, like, it's just, like, like, you can't even see anything. Like, what's going on? What's, it just makes no sense. Um, but anyway, the video was great. The music was great. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I really, I really like this request. And uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. That's my reaction to Moulin Rouge by Nostalgia Creek. And uh, everyone, take care of yourselves, each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.